Michael McFadden. I'm 15 years old. I race in the Pro Unlimited UTV. It was a competitive class. There's lots of guys to go up against, and we thought it'd just be super fun. So the Parker 250 was my first race and my whole crew's first race. I was 14 years old. At the start line of the Parker 250, I was pretty nervous, but we got pretty lucky because it was a two wide start. And for some reason, the guy next to us wasn't in the right spot. So we got to go off by ourselves. A lot better getting to go off by ourselves for our first race. Everyone was a little bit nervous. We didn't know any of the racing etiquette. We were just trying to figure out all the little things, where to pass, uh, when to nerf people, how will it be racing in the dust. We didn't have the shock style, we didn't have clutching dialed. I think Parker was super fun. One of my favorite courses for sure. I think it was the roughest race we did because of the shock setup. It was not dialed in yet. At the end of the race, we pulled a fifth place against some of the top guys in that class. After Parker, we knew that we had to do some changes to our shock setup, so we talked to Wayne at Alltech. Since we started working with him, the shocks have felt great. The car feels so planted. Once we got that dialed in, the car just felt so much faster. Headed over to Alamo, Nevada to go do the Silver State 300. That race was super fun. We had Wayne set up the shocks lower and we were just going through the corners super fast. Our biggest problem there was the belt temps. It was my first time driving through silt and it was just blinding. And there was cars flipped over in the trees, maybe two or three of them and we just drove past them. We were trying to do our best to not be like them. The race was going really good. We were running in third place. We blew a bell and we got stuck on top of a bush and we just watched everybody go right past us, right past us. And then we took 10th place. Yeah, my dad has been co-driving for us this whole entire season and we both have just been learning and learning and then we have just been getting better all season, getting faster. We have a good relationship when we're in that car and we just work together very good. Vegas Trina was a super long race. We were just preparing ourselves to be in the car for over 10 hours. Vegas Torino is super hot. Our radiator was undersized. We were battling hot belt temps and hot engine temps all day. Uh, the rollover, it was just getting dark. We were at about mile 350, I think. There was a humongous rock and then it caught the um, two tires and then we did like a pirouette in the air and landed back on the wheels. And then once we got back on the road, I noticed that we had no brakes. We limped it into the pit about 30 miles to the pit from there. And then uh, we found out that we had a bent rotor and our pit crew changed it real quick. And then we got back going and we took a sixth place. It felt amazing getting to that finish line. Me and my dad, we rode in that car all day. I drove the whole thing, he co-drove the whole thing. We rode in the car for 11 hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> I started falling asleep towards the end. Almost went off a cliff. After Vegas Torino, we headed over to Laughlin, Nevada for the UTV Legends Championship. That race, it was super cool. It was an eight wide start, land rush style. to start we got into third place on track we 
quickly made some passes, and by lap two, we were running up front in our class. There's the Fox Proving Grounds. When we got into that, those were the biggest whoops we have ever seen. But Wayne at Alltech, he got our suspension dialed and we just floated right over them. The fuel stop, it was super quick. Our pit crew was super fast. We got in and out as quick as possible, but we lost our first place spot to Mob and Racing. We followed him for the rest of the race and we came in at the finish only 24 seconds behind him. It felt really good to know that we could race up there with some of the top guys in our class. And I'm very excited that uh, we're starting to get some more recognition for how fast we can actually go. Going into Cal City it was the last race of the Best in the Desert season. We were going in there pretty comfortably. We had uh, first place for Rookie of the Year at that time, and we were third in points for the UTV Pro Unlimited class. That course was super fun. Uh, the power line road was pretty fun. There were some big G outs where we got some pretty good air. The course was pretty rough on the back end, and then it had a little goat trail just like Parker did. City turned out pretty good for us. We took a fifth place in Pro Unlimited UTV, and that secured the deal for Rookie of the Year and third in Pro Unlimited UTV. Overall, it was a really good season. We set a goal for Rookie of the Year, and we achieved it. It felt really good for us to get that goal. We set it at the beginning of the year at Parker, and we're super happy we completed it. We completed every race mile of every race in the best in desert season. I just want to thank my pit crew, my family, and everybody who comes to the races and supports us. We could not do this without them. I'd also like to thank Procraft Construction, Raceline Wheels, KWI Clutching, ZRP, and All Tech Suspension. In 2022 season, I think we're going to run a little bit less conservative, run a higher, faster pace so we can get up there with the faster guys. We really want to grab that first win for our team. We've had two second places so far, and it'd be even better if we could get that Trophy Unlimited Championship.